Um, so my name is Alyssa Andrew and I attend the University of Georgia. I'm currently a second year PhD student in the Department of Infectious Diseases. And I gave my presentation on Saturday and it went really well. It was a poster presentation. And essentially it was me presenting my dissertation project. So currently I work in a lab that studies malaria infection during pregnancy and we use mouse models to do so. And so I have taken all of the data that the lab has generated over the past 20 years and um, along with my advisor, we've come up with this theoretical model for what we think is the host's contribution to malaria um, or to negative pregnancy outcomes during malaria. Um, so the experience presenting my poster was really positive. So I had a lot of people who were outside of the malaria field who were just really interested in the model and what I was talking about. Um, I'm currently preparing to take my comprehensive exams and so that was part of the reason why I came here because I wanted to be able to practice explaining the model to all sorts of people um, in different parts of immunology but I also wanted them to ask me questions about it um, so that I can start getting prepared for the type of questions that I'll get during my exam and so far it's been really successful because a lot of people come by ask a lot of questions um, and also made suggestions that I hadn't thought of before. So yeah, very positive experience. I had an interest in women's health. Um, I was interested in um, sort of the OBGYN area. And while I was an undergrad, as part of me becoming, trying to make myself the best candidate for medical school that I could, I knew I had to do research. And um, that's when I got into undergraduate research and I loved it. And I didn't really see it coming. Um, and so I love the idea of being the first to discover something, to know something. Like you're always on like the cutting edge of whatever it is that you're working on. Um, and so it was really nice to have an opportunity as an undergrad to develop a tool that the lab still currently use today. So something that's really useful, that was my contribution. And after that, I found myself in my current lab, which I still get to study um, sort of the like women's health aspect, but I get to do it in a research setting um, by answering questions that people don't know the answer to yet. So that's, that's my answer. So going into medical school was just always like something growing up was like, oh, you should be a doctor, you should be a medical doctor, because I'm from a Caribbean background. And so my parents really wanted me to be a doctor. For them, that was it. Um, and so going into the research part of science was entirely my idea. They had, they were like, what? Um, <laughs> but after some convincing and after just, um, after they were able to see that it's something that I really wanted to do, that I was passionate about, um, it was okay. So I'm really glad it was my um, idea to go in. So one important lesson that I've learned from my mentor um, is to not be afraid to go out there and present your work. So. I, as a second year, sometimes I doubt myself. I think like maybe I'm not ready to present this poster at this meeting, for example. Um, maybe I'm not ready to give a talk or anything like that. And she's very encouraging. She's very good at saying, no, you're good, you got this. And when she believes in me, when she thinks I got it, I'm like, all right, I can do this. Um, so that's one of the really important lessons is just go for it, don't be afraid. And take everything as, like take the critique in and, and really think about it. Everyone that you're presenting to, most of the time, they're just trying to help you and they can give you um, some valuable feedback um, that'll help make you a better scientist. So that was a really valuable lesson. So for the future, I'm hoping to work um, maybe with the CDC um, or the World Health Organization. I'm hoping to work on some of these parasitic diseases, the ones that are the most challenging that are that have been just kind of evading us for the longest. I'm hoping to work with those and to work in the field, like on the ground level. So to hopefully work in the lab directly, learning new techniques on how to diagnose, um, find new drugs, um, and how to educate whatever population is afflicted by that disease. That's where I see myself going.